Quadratic functions part two. We're going to look at a few more problems that are parabolas and uh, find the information we need to sketch the graph uh, and then look at domain and range on these pictures. Uh, so first for this one we have a parabola and it is in our standard form. So to pick off the vertex it's in the proper form we're just going to look at it. It is x minus h. So two three gives our vertex the a is positive in front so it's going to open up the axis of symmetry will be x equals two and we need one more point uh, it's usually easy to let x equals zero uh, so to get your y-intercept, and so if I do f of 0, this means 0 minus 2 squared plus 3. This gives me negative 2 squared plus 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. So my point is 0, 7. That's the information I need to draw the graph. So first we'll plot our vertex, 2, 3, and it's going to open up. So 2, 1, 2, 3, and it's going to go this way. Our axis of symmetry will be here. It's going to flip across that. Our other point we need is 0, 7, so don't go over, go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which means there will also be a point right here, flipped across or reflected across that axis of symmetry. So this is the way it looks. All right, now let's go back and look at domain and range. Uh, the domain on a parabola that is a quadratic function so it opens up or it opens down is always going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. This side is going to go up to the left, this side is going to go up to the right and if it was down it would just go this way and this way. So uh, your domain is always going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. Your range will be determined by your vertex, right? Because that's going to give your lowest or your highest point if it's turned upside down. So our lowest point there, and you are going to want the Y coordinate when you do range, is going to be 3. You are touching it. So we'll use a bracket. And then it goes forever up. So you can do that even without the graph. Remember your range is going to come from your vertex. Know which way it opens so that you are taking either the lowest or the highest and it's the Y coordinate that you use. Let's look at another problem. This one is not quite to standard form but it's easy to get it to standard form just by moving this 2 over to the right. Um, and y is f of x. So we'll add the 2. So just a little algebra here. Now you can pick off your vertex. All right, just be a little careful here. This is going to be minus a negative 3. So your vertex is going to be negative 3. 2 right, in front so your A is going to be positive so it's going to open up. Your axis of symmetry will be X equals negative 3. You need one more point so if we let X be 0 
This will give us 3 squared plus 2. So 9 plus 2 is 11. So 0, 11 is an extra point to help us draw the graph. Now let's try to go ahead and answer domain and range before we do the graph. So your domain on a parabola that is a function is going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. Your range will depend on the vertex and this one opens up so it will be the lowest point the vertex will we want the y coordinate so it's going to be 2 to infinity so we didn't even have to have the graph but we'll put one on so if we want to graph first we would plot our vertex negative 3 2 so negative 3 2 make your point it opens up, so it's going to go this way. Uh, this will be your axis of symmetry. For our extra point, we have 0, 11. So our y-intercept will be on the y-axis. And this is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It'll be about right here. And it will flip across. So our picture looks something like that. And we just were going to verify the domain and the range. Looks like I wrote in it now, but that's okay. Um, domain, it's going forever to the left, forever to the right. Positive, negative infinity to positive infinity. The range will be the y coordinate of the vertex. That is your lowest point. And it goes from lowest to highest. So it will be 2, which we include because we touch it, to infinity. We have one more problem to look at, and they're going back to general form. So we're going to need to find our vertex. Even before we do that, our A is positive. So it's going to open up. We can write that. Right? Our vertex, remember, the formula is uh, negative B over 2A. That gives our X. And so it's going to be negative 4 over 2 times 1, which is negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. And then we have to plug negative 2 in. So we have negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 5. Negative 2 squared gives us 4. This will be minus 8 and minus 5. So we have a negative 4 minus 5 gives us a negative 9. So our vertex is negative 2, negative 9. Our axis of symmetry will be x equals negative 2. For our extra point here, it's easy to find. We're going to let x be 0. If you plug 0 in, it's going to wipe out these first two terms. So this is gone and this is gone. So negative 5. 0, negative 5 gives our extra point. Right, and this is going to go off my grid a little bit. I could let each mark equal 2. Uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, so if each tick mark is 2 on here, uh, then this would be, this was 7, so this will be 14. This will be 14, negative 14, and negative 14. All right, so I want to find negative 2, so that would be here, and then negative 9. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. 
and we said it's going to open up so this will be our axis of symmetry pretend that it's straight right zero negative five um, so don't go over go down five remember these tick marks are two so two four five which means we also will have a point right here so there's our graph uh, for our domain of course it is negative infinity to positive infinity for our range right the vertex gives the lowest point so the y coordinate of the vertex so it's going to be negative 9 to infinity next we'll look at the maximum or minimum and this occurs at the vertex if the parabola opens up like this one we'll have a minimum your lowest point if the parabola opens down it will have a maximum which will be your highest point right um, where it occurs the at remember is the x coordinate and so this is going to be 2 the value of it is negative 1 our domain is negative infinity to positive infinity the range from the lowest point the y coordinate negative 1 to infinity All right this one uh, we have a maximum and where it occurs we have the word at is the x coordinate so that is 1 the value of it will be the y coordinate which is 3 your domain is negative infinity to positive infinity and your range this time your vertex is the highest it goes so you're gonna have to come from negative infinity and you're gonna end at the vertex which we said the y coordinate is 3 and it will get a bracket next they give us a function and they ask us to determine without graphing whether the function has a minimum or a maximum um, and to tell that all you really need to know is which way does the graph open right and that's determined by your a from the general form if it's negative um, it's going to open down so this one is going to open down you are going to have a maximum you didn't have to do any work to figure that out right to tell where it occurs you have to know the um, vertex and so we have to use our formula on this one so our x coordinate of the vertex equals negative b over 2a so negative 4 over 2 times negative 2 which is negative 4 over negative 4 is a positive 1 and then we plug that back in to find the y coordinate of the vertex so f of 1 equals negative 2 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 minus 7 so 1 squared is 1 times a negative 2 will be negative 2 plus 4 minus 7 and this will give us positive 2 minus 7 will give us negative 5 so our vertex is 1 negative 5 it occurs our maximum is going to occur at 1 that's the x value uh, the value of it will be the y value which will be negative 5 the domain of course is negative infinity to positive infinity your range right if it looks like this 
going down, then your range you're coming from negative infinity up to that vertex. That is your highest point, and you want the y coordinate, which is the negative 5 with a bracket. Our next question just asks us to give the domain and range of the quadratic function whose graph is described. They're not even telling us what the function is. They are telling us it has a maximum of negative 4 at x equals 2. What is this telling us? If it has a maximum, it opens down the value of the vertex. Right? Remember your x coordinate is where it is. And then you can tell the domain and range. Your domain, of course, is negative infinity to positive infinity on a parabola that is a function. And your range will de be determined by the vertex. So it opens down. You're coming from negative infinity up to negative 4. And you are touching negative 4. So it gets a bracket. We have one more question um, that just wants us to give the domain and range of the quadratic function whose graph is described. We're given the vertex, and we know the parabola opens down. And so your domain is going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. Your range will be determined by that vertex. You're coming from negative infinity up to the vertex. And you want the y coordinate of the vertex for range. And that is, um, we'll just add a little bit here. Uh, this one has a maximum. It occurs at negative 9. The value of it is negative 1.